There's good, and then there's great. But then there's Kenanisa Bekele. He is running so well that it's hard to believe, in fact, that he mightn't attempt a double. This man is just cruising up the straight. He's 50, 60, 70 meters ahead. A magnificent performance by a magnificent athlete who is sure to become a huge star of distance running. Here he comes round that bend on his own. Clearly the star of these world championships. A beautiful day and a really sensationally good runner here. There is no doubt about the winner here today in Edinburgh. Kenanisa Bekele wins a record-breaking sixth world cross-country title. The goal for Ethiopia. A superb performance from him. The champion, the double champion, is Bekele of Ethiopia. It is finally time for the epic conclusion of Kenanisa Bekele's greatest cross-country moment. In our previous video, which I'll link up above right now, we broke down the first five years of his cross-country greatness. And if you haven't watched it already, I would highly recommend you check it out, because it is simply amazing at just how untouchable he was against the absolute greatest runners in the entire world. Seriously, it was as if he was in another dimension of running excellence. After four straight years of unchallenged running at the World Championships, Bekele again entered the biggest stage for yet another defense of his world title. However, on this day in Mombasa, Kenya, he would face one challenger that pushed him to his absolute limit. On March 24th of 2007, Bekele once again returned to the World Cross Country Championships. At this point in his racing career, he was perceived as untouchable, unrivaled, the one true hero of cross country racing. However, on this particular day, he would experience one of his worst races of his entire career. Through the opening stages, everything was going as it normally did. He was up front, he was pushing the pace, and in the minds of many, it was only a matter of time before he made his decisive move. With just a few kilometers remaining, it was now down to Bekele and Zersene Tedesi. Over the previous few seasons, Tedesi had made quite a name for himself as one of the premier distance runners in the world, and on this particular day, his abilities would indeed rival the great Bekele. With only moments left in the race, Bekele made a very strong move and dropped his rival, Zersene Tedesi. This was exactly what everyone was expecting, but then out of nowhere, he slowed down dramatically. Just a few moments later, Tedesi moved up beside a clearly struggling Bekele, and even though he attempted to stay in the race, the now struggling Kenanisa ultimately dropped out of the race, citing extreme dehydration and massive heat exhaustion from the warmer temperatures. This struggle was definitely understandable given that the temperature was close to 40 degrees Celsius, and with these extreme conditions, he suffered his first cross-country loss in almost eight years. This painful defeat was clearly unexpected, as Bekele was clearly the athlete to beat, but moving into 2008, he once again returned to the World Championships, where he proved to the entire world that he is the undisputed greatest cross-country runner to ever live. On March 30th of 2008, the 12 kilometer World Championships included many familiar faces. Along with Bekele up front was the now returning world champion from Eritrea, Zersene Tedesi. This matchup was certainly highly anticipated, and as the race unfolded, they once again proved to be two of the greatest runners in the entire world. During these early stages, everything was pretty much as expected. However, after making a sharp turn at the top of this hill, Bekele's shoe was actually knocked off. After a few seconds, he was forced to completely stop, and while the remainder of the field continued running forward, he had no choice but to slow down significantly and put his shoe back on. For most athletes, this would be a devastating moment, resulting in absolutely zero possibilities for a victory. But Bekele is no normal athlete, as he slowly but surely caught back up with the remainder of the field.
This is clearly a historic moment in cross-country running. Not only is Bekele working his way back up to the very best athletes in the world, but the cameramen are clearly confused as to where he is. Incredibly, after 16 minutes, Bekele was back with the front runners, and from this point on, he was determined to bring home the victory. After separating from the rest of the field, the race was now down to just four athletes, which included Zersne Tedesi, Joseph Abuya, Leonard Coman, and of course, Kenanisa Bekele. Just like in the previous years, these front athletes made running under three minutes per kilometer look stunningly easy. And upon approaching the final lap, Bekele once again struck for greatness. Just after the 30 minute mark, the race completely broke open. Instead of waiting until the very end to release his devastating kick, he took matters into his own hands as he inserted a very fast pace with more than one kilometer left. This tactic was certainly effective because in less than one minute, Bekele's gap was massive. Now with a sizable lead, he once again had this race to himself. Coming down the home stretch, it was a beautiful moment to yet another world title, except for this victory, it marked his sixth individual title over the longer distance, which again, made him the only athlete ever to achieve this title. Also, let's not forget that he stopped in the middle of this race to put his shoe back on and still came back to win. If that's not a true showcasing of dominance, I don't know what is. This victory would ultimately be his final World Cross Country title, but with 11 individual victories and an unprecedented amount of untouchable moments, it's easy to see why Kenanisa Bekele is unquestionably the greatest cross country athlete of all time.